Now, to me, these are everyday clothes. <laughs> Not that I wear it every day, but, um, you know, this is fun. I took a bubble bath. I wanted to get pretty. But I wanted to show you the skirt that I started making. And this is going to be a Victorian style skirt. And what I got was a, uh, a costume at Goodwill. Again, Goodwill. And it was a two-piece costume, just a split skirt. And it just went all the way up. So it would have had to have a chemise under it. And then this um, jacket that went with it. But it had um, bell sleeves, and it was too large anyway. And so I, I took the sleeves off, both of them. And in here, then I am creating an inside panel. So that panel will be there, and it'll just kind of float. And then this is a separate skirt that I bought. Um, you know, sometimes at, at Goodwill, well, a lot of times at Goodwill, um, I try not to do it anymore. I just grab something because it says the size on it, and I say, oh, that'll fit. And I got this home, and it was too large in the waist, and part of the reason was the, uh, the elastic just wasn't any good anymore. But then I decided that I would put this black lace because it was already a tiered skirt anyway. And so I'm going to put black lace on each of the tiers. And what I did was I dropped it because this is a uh, skirt that would normally come down probably just below my knees, but I'm going to sew it lower so that it comes all the way to the floor. And then that way, I can kind of give myself this effect. Now with the other sleeve, what I'm doing, take this off, is creating a bustle for the back to give it that Victorian look. And so what I did with the, uh, the other sleeve, one I split one way because it was, um, they were bell shaped with the, the point. And so I split one one way so that it curves this way. And I split the other one the other way, so it curves this way. And in here, I'm gonna add some uh, bunting, uh, stuffing, just to kind of give it that, you know, the big butt effect. <laughs> that is so much fun in the Victorian fashion. And then just um, create these rows that'll come down. And then I was thinking about adding that. This is a uh, curtain set. I don't even think it was a full set that I got. And I thought the colors went well together somewhat, but certainly with that piece. And just to give me that extra, um, you know, kind of full effect in the back. I purchased this for $1.99. And I'm just going to wrap it around my waist um, like a bum roll so that it gives me the added lift in the back, if you will. And then for the top, um, I found this blouse, which, you know, old lady blouses are great for Victorian style. <laughs> and then, of course, the, uh, the corset will be more form-fitting, but on the hanger it's not so much. But that'll be the top. And then I actually have a black shawl that I can wear with it. But I made this last night, too. And so this will be the headdress. Let's see if we can get that so you can see it better. 
And so this is going to be the headdress. That will go with it. And some festive flowers and whatnot. I love these little roses. And the rose color goes so well. And the ribbon, again, it was something, it was a partial roll. I got it for 79 cents. Um, and it's just on a headband, is all. But I think together it'll be nice. And this will more than likely, get you out of the way. And this will be my Christmas outfit. So there you go. Oh, and by the way, I'm a firm believer in wear what you want to wear, when you want to wear it. <laughs> and don't worry about it. Yeah, I was just outside getting the mail and doing things in the on my porch. And yeah, I got some looks and I got, you know, some smiles. <laughs> But people know this is me. And they're not too shocked by it. So, wear what you want to wear when you feel like wearing it. It's my advice for today.